Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign. It is time for a uh, face-off against our worst nightmare. Chrysler the Brute Mother is uh, here. I figured if it's called Against the Hive, who am I to decide that we're not fighting against the Hive, right? So we're going to do exactly that. And we're going to do it with uh, beating them with their with their own uh, powers by using ghost grenades. I don't want to uh, fall too much into the uh, brain dead, stupid uh, type of playstyle, but at the moment, I think I will need the ghost grenades as a crutch to to go up against the hive. Maybe I'm wrong. We're going to see about it. Um, so far, I've just used the ghost grenades in order to kind of flee from missions. This time I am trying to use them in order to just shoot, then use a ghost grenade, um, reset and reposition and then um, continue uh, next round onwards. I will self-limit myself to two ghost grenades um, because we do have the material to potentially get six, seven, eight ghost grenades and I don't want to get into a brain dead playstyle where I'm just clustering up everyone and then we're round robin uh, circle uh, ghost grenading whilst the AI can't uh, keep up with it and I can <coughs> essentially uh, just shoot them down. I think that would not neither be great to watch nor would it be interesting as a game concept so I'll stay away from it. I'm fairly aware that the ghost grenades can break uh, the game balance whether or not they would make it that easy that i would get through all of the missions is a different story but hear me out i think we can use uh, one or two uh, per mission just kind of as a reset um, and today we're bringing the c team sane sonar pliskin synapse roro and slicinator uh, mainly because the a team needs to still be um, kept uh, to go into an advent facility or advent uh, factory a little bit later. We know that we're fighting only against chrysalids which explains why we're having uh, the uh, scorching hellweave armor. Um, one of our favorites. Uh, we do have a mimic beacon, we do have a couple of normal grenades, two ghost grenades uh, and in case chameleons are out there I am ready to mingle with them. So wish me luck guys as this is going to be a tough mission. Mind you, if we're losing any of the equipment, I don't mind that much. All of it is only mildly um, upgraded. So none of this here would uh, break the bank completely. Good, we're landing. What is our mission, by the way, except kill everything? Okay, we need to recover files. Seven turns. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Um, good. There. Let's charge up with Slicinator. This is one of those missions where you wish you had uh, I mean, that. a Reaper. <coughs> Just to move in and get the package. Double time. We're going to take the left hand side here. Got it. Move in. Tracy St. Elliot moves up and we're fighting chrysalids. Holy moly. On the move. Good. 
Look, we know chrysalids are there. On it. All I want to do is move a bit closer. Yeah, unfortunately we can't get to high ground. Well, we can, but we need to take it on the other side. Good, moves up and Roro takes that place. Okay, well, so far we're okay. Just gotta stick together, really. More chrysalids are coming. We have five turns. What is the plan, Psyche? Moving to designated position. Move sonar up. And I think we should start engaging with them. There's no point in dragging it out any longer. That's easy. Good, we have technical analysis. Fabulous. That's what I was waiting for. Pliskin moves up as well. It's this guy. I'm trusting you here. In your face. All right, good. Good, Roro moves up. That's two kills right there, if needed. And a bit of damage on the guy in the back. Sam kills the chrysalid. And I tell you what, I don't want to even take any risks, so... Okay, of course. Of course! Well, luckily our little explosion there works, uh, will work well. Oh, they need to move? No, uh, they're still getting, they're still getting chompered. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay, we can't, I mean, we could go back into concealment.
but the whole point is to stay out of concealment for now. Sure thing. We're moving oh, yeah. closer without triggering. And really the idea is We want to stay as a pack, as a unit, to use our ghost grenades when needed. I'm even willing to sacrifice one overwatch shot there. Okay, we got a couple of the small ones down. I'm hit, I'm hit. Interesting. They can immediately act. Well, as long as the Rippers kill the civilians, I'm actually fine with it, because that means no respawn. Good, we need to dedicate one person to actually hack. And that one person will be Slicinator. Double move, can move, and okay, good, yeah, that works. In the meantime, let's remove obstacles. Let's use our free mines just to deal with both of these small rippers. Ignore them. Go for the chrysalid brood mother. And I think we're sticking with what we have for now. Good mother is going down. Okay, good. Ah, I didn't want to kill oh, this guy. Mm. Never mind. It unfortunately happened. Okay, listen, might as well just kill that little thing. Well, how about that? Get the hunter almost down. That won't do it. Again, almost down. Good. 
so all of them are dead. Now, <clears throat> we're going for Ghost Grenade. Number one. And Slicinator moves in. Interestingly enough, the Advent the reinforcements shouldn't even know where we are. They should be like, yeah, okay, so what's up? Anyone running into the mine? No, apparently not. Well, maybe this guy. I think we'll need our second grenade now. Timer is okay. We're good. Well, now we do have a problem. I was not aware that that would uncover us. <sighs> Good. Time to use our grenades. Uh, the priest isn't the biggest problem, but these guys are a problem. Trying to shred everyone. Double explosion here. Takes down the Lancer very well. Look, we can kill two infectors here and injure the Hive Warrior. Or we're saving Private Ryan, which I think might be the right um, thing to do. here definitely have a mimic beacon which could help us out
We tried to hit that purifier. Uh... Could also try to kill the infector. Down to four hit points. Yeah, I, I think this here might even be better, just getting the three chrysalids down. Sucks leaving the Hive Warrior untapped. Down to one hit point, okay. to here. Hmm, yeah, we don't have a quick draw. I wish I could deal a lot of damage over there, but it's just not the case. Gotta say, a safe synapse. Yeah, and unfortunately, we're in a pretty bad position here as well, so <clears throat> let's just uh, hide. That's our last get out of jail card. From here on, it gets a bit more difficult. to the mimic beacon why are you moving further in oh maybe because the mimic beacon is already dead and it's just no way yeah Talking about the worst possible timing, really. Okay, we gotta evacuate. moves to here Throwing grenade. hit that priest I'm 
down to 10. This gun moves in. We're moving in, and we're continuing to move in. Let's hit the priest. Okay, that worked out well. Let's dual strike the priest in an attempt to break the mind control. There we go, mind control lost. If we can recall the event, uh, the evic zone. Just in time. First, everybody else needs to get out. Of course, the guy ranger is on cooldown. Shoot. Well, that's not good. We're going to die anyways if we're staying here. Question is. Where would we die the least? I mean, up here looks decent, I guess. There's like a queen might uh, follow us. Overwatch and just pray at this point. There are a couple of civilians, so who knows? Maybe. No, no. Okay, well, we can take one hit. Okay, that's good. That's good. We cannot take one hit from that hunter. Rip Slicinator. Okay, well, it is what it is. Advent recruitment numbers continue to reach record highs. We did well until we didn't. The reinforcement certainly screwed us over. I think. I think uh, without reinforcements, this whole uh, mission could have been done substantially easier. If we wouldn't have needed to push in that deep, things actually would have looked up. Um, synapse. Weapon specialist, definitely. Yes, please. And whilst we're at it, dedicated ammunition slot. Thank you. Slicinator. Unequal in life, reverted in death. I like it. Counter attack. Okay. Well, that's going to haunt us. <coughs> Enter Overwatch uh, after being revealed. Boo. Was your intention to aggravate me? Don't like it. I the aid of those traitorous dogs. And you 
It very much sucks, but what am I uh, going to do about it? Nothing. Tactical analysis really hasn't helped us that much uh, this time. I need integrated warfare back, so... For now... I think what we can do is just gain some more intel. Cool. Cool. Uh, I like the idea of uh, getting a high level Reaper, but I equally like the idea of reducing avatar progress, which I think is better for now. Infiltrating the stronghold wouldn't be bad either to just get rid of her. This here is a strong one as well, but we're on the timer at the moment, so I will do the executive decision and getting rid of her. Uh, we take Doom, <coughs> freshly recruited. We don't even have a skirmisher. Oh, we do. <laughs> Didn't even know that. And let's put Dilly G onto this mission, infiltrating the stronghold. <clears throat> That'll give us something to do. And once she is out of the picture, we're actually doing quite well. Good. Uh, which kind of brings us to the end of today's episode, because the next one is going to be um, an actual fight and infiltration for an advent facility. Once we get that, we uh, should be more than okay. Um, that'll reduce the Avatar project by two. We do have another facility if uh, needed, and I think we're yeah. I think we would be okay. Um, unfortunately, we would uh, encounter the third Advent ruler, which is uh, the Archon King. So then we've successfully unleashed all three of them, making our missions even more painful, because I don't think in a normal timed mission that we will have the firepower to go through them. So let me think how, how we're going to go about it. Uh, not all is lost yet. We have uh, received a couple of really nice up, uh, upgrades. Uh, and the last mission was a bit of a fluke. Um, <clears throat> so let's get the uh, let's get uh, the facility down because I want to stop the um, uh, the death timer, and then we're taking it from there. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want to stop uh, the death timer on this channel, click the like button. That's the way to do it. And see you in two days. Bye bye.